everybody in the mind they have a certain delusion you know especially in the spiritual field as a lot but what is reality what you see outside is a reality is there anything real in it it is only when you perceive the reality beyond the gross matter of the outside so in everything around there is one reality god energy pervade everywhere narayana is in everything this is the only reality how many see that see to be in delusion a lot people are in it's easy it's beautiful that's uh, why when even the master show the reality to the people what they will choose they choose always the delusion because it's more beautiful it's more um glamorous you know then you will say yourself why should i long for god when i don't know him why should i long for that love which i don't feel it where where as a glamorous which you can see you can touch you long for it you go for it na huh? so this what i said constantly one must be aware that life is a great opportunity which god have given and especially to be on the spiritual path is not an opportunity which you get often that's why on the spiritual path you have to be wise even as more glamorous it is you know the fantasy of the mind or the fantasy of the external it is still a fantasy as much as you can say it is real it is not reality is something which is eternal which lasts forever which doesn't have any limit that's reality but does this world last forever eh does a fantasy of your mind last forever does the desire that you have last forever no the free question i ask you all free question you tell me no eh does a happiness that you perceive on the outside last forever no no but then what last forever so all this question means the foundation of your life here isn't it and eh? that's what you base your life on it no your reality is that you know i have a family i have this i have that i have this uh, you know i have name fame glory beauty does all this last forever no they all come and goes as long as you have beauty flawless skin people love you you become wrinkle they don't even want to look at you about you we have, we have to bear you somehow yeah how many old old women are asking me swami ji why i don't have somebody please i need somebody in my life why they can still wait because the old men are not looking to the old uh, lady you know they're going for the younger one but god is looking at you 
Yeah, God is saying, hey, I'm here. <laughs> you know? I'm looking at you, even if you all become wrinkly. <laughs> but you said, no, no, no. You are just a statue, nothing else. You prefer to look at the side <laughs> and this side is looking at this side. Huh? Who is looking at them? No one. Because they are just a painting. No? So, then once Trouble start arising, beautiful, you know, like I said, the beauties and the drama of love, it's only for a short time. Once you get what you want, the drama finish. Today I was talking with somebody, the person was saying that the, the love drama lasts for five, ten years. I said, wow, that's a long time. I said, that was your time when you were young. Maybe that was like five, ten years, you know, it would last. Nowadays it don't last like that. Once you get bored, you look elsewhere. Whether it is in your relationship, whether it is in your spiritual life, it is the boredom of this reality. So that's why it is very important to educate yourself and really be sincere. You know, sincerity is important with oneself. And when you know what you want truly, truly, then know that one thing, God guide every step of yours. He bring you on the spiritual path is not a coincidence. That he remind you of his love is not a coincidence. Because he long for you. Why do you long for somebody? Because you care for the person. No? If you don't care for somebody, then you don't bother about that person. Yes or no? Eh? What would the Divine bother about anyone? Because he cares for each one. Why would the Guru care, uh, I say, bother, eh? Sorry? Bother about anybody? Because he cares for that, no? That you are a fool. Eh? Seeing that you are going sideways. You know? That they have come that path, no? Bring you on that way. That, oh. You're doing something wrong. No, your dharma is different. Do your dharma properly. But how many listen? Not many. <laughs> they would rather listen to their mind. They would rather listen to their feeling. You know. You see, as long as you have not clear your mind, as long as you have not really center yourself. You know, as long as you have not ground yourself, don't listen to your mind and don't listen to your feeling. Because that will be the delusion. That's why you see, you see, very often people say, yes, you know, big proclamation they make, you know. But when the reality, they face the reality, gone. <laughs> that song that I wanted to sing portrayed exactly that question. You see, Go, uh, the, the 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 song said, you know, God come to your doors, you know, standing at your door. He's like a beggar, you know, he's begging you to take. Uh, that opportunity, fill his back, you know, take the opportunity, fill his back. 
that gift what you give to him, you know, that opportunity, that kindness what you show to him, that kindness will be remembered forever. But opportunity come once. It don't come twice. Chances will give one time, two time. Take it, take it. You don't take it, it's gone. Life will pass. Death will knock at your door. Tock, tock, tock. Uh, I ask you, what have you done here? Then you will remember. You will see life. What have you done? You will say, I've been stupid. And uh, I've been dumb when everything was given. I choose to listen to my mind. No? This is a problem. That's why it's easy to listen to this mind. It's easy to listen to the glamorous thoughts. You know. Then when you suffer, you remember, oops. <laughs> But when the master says something, when the guru will say something, yes, it's beautiful, but then you will interpret it your own way of understanding. You will presume, okay, he meant this, but you are putting your own projection into it. So educate yourself well but whatever you f your feeling is, whatever your intuition is, is similar to the path you're walking in. If you are clear into that, then your anchor, the whatever come, will be guided. Because when you think you know better, this is a problem. See, like I said, God doesn't make any mistake in his creation. W where you have to be, you will be. Whether you want or you don't want, you will be there. But you have to let him. You know. There's a story which I, uh, I told once, if I remember it. I will. There were once a sweeper, no sweeper you said? Clean, a cleaner? Sweeper, sweeper. So he was sweeping the temple in Dwarkadesh, you know, in Dwarka, the place of Krishna. He was sweeping the floor and he would look at Dwarkadesh, he would look at Krishna standing there. After thousands of people come inside the temple, and go out of the temple. Everybody come with the Lord and uh, and the Lord was standing there, smiling to everybody. So at that night, you know, he went to the Lord. He said, Bhagwan, you must be very tired. In a very innocent way, he talked to him, you know, said, you must be very tired. All these people come to you you stand patiently and look at, he, at them and listen to them. So, seeing the innocence of him, Bhagwan spoke to him. You know, said, he said to, to, to Krishna, Please, Lord, you must be very tired. I would like to take your place. Like that you can take some rest and relax a little bit by the seashore. They go for a swim. But seeing the innocence of him and the pledge that he was so sincere, what Thakurji said, fine. Tomorrow morning you come, we will stop places. But with one condition, you should not interfere with any business of anybody. Just look at them and smile with them. Trust in me that I do everything. 
don't interfere with anything. So he said, yes, Lord, I will come. Next day, early morning, he came. Takurji swapped the place with him. So he became the deity and stand there. And of course, Bhagwan left and relax himself. <laughs> so as he was there standing, people will come. He would just smile, listening to the people, what they are praying to. Not do anything. Even if he have this big urge inside of him to act, he sustained himself, said, no, but one have said to me not to react, you know, not to do anything. I just need to stand. He's taking care of everything. So Bhagavan wanted to test him at the same time. Then he said, uh, look, a very rich man came with a bag full of money, came there and prayed to Thakurji, said, Lord, thank you very much. All my work and my wishes have been fulfilled. You know, and very proud of himself, he bowed down in front of God you know, and make a big scene. And as he woke up, uh, get up from bowing down, he forgot his suitcase. He left. I told the story once. No? So, <laughs> As he was, uh, he, uh, when he left, the suitcase was left there. The same moment, a poor man came. The poor man put the last coin he had in the hundi and prayed to the Lord, Lord, let me be eternally in your service. Let me serve you. You know very well I don't have much. You know, I still have to look after my family. Please accept that offering from my heart. The, put the money in the hundi. As he was getting up, he saw the, uh, the suitcase. He looked around, nobody. Said, he opened it, he saw a lot of money. Said, ah, Bhagwan, you have given me the <laughs> blessing. And he took it and go. Meanwhile, the man in the uh, the sweeper in the form of uh, Jagad, uh, say, uh, Krishna, uh, uh, Dwarkadish, was looking. <laughs> he wanted to say something, but he was compelled not to say anything, not to act in anything. He just stand there, with Shankar Chakra, looking, happening. And then um, a sailor, a uh, uh, sailor, yes, a sailor came. He was going to the sea, but he wa before going to the sea, he wanted to thank Krishna for having given him a job, and he was going to uh, ask him for his protection and everything. So he went to the to the temple, bow down. As he was getting up, the rich man came in with the police. And uh, the rich man accused him that he stole his money. Could not resist looking at that, you know, he was getting frustrated. Uh, you know, the, the sweeper in the form of Dwarkadish. He could not say, then he spoke. I said, it is not him that took your money, it is the poor man who took your money. They heard Bhagwan talking. <laughs> they were very happy. So this, the matter was settled. So the man, the sailor was gone, uh, was taken, uh, first uh, was taken to to prison, you know, then uh, when they heard Bhagwan said, it's not him, so it's a big miracle. So the bow down, the matter was settled. In the evening, Krishna came.
to the temple and ask him. You know, now they swap back again the place. So the sweeper became back the sweeper and Krishna went inside. It looked very relaxed. Then he asked the sweeper, how was your day? He said, Oof. What a day I got. I, can, uh, I can't do that like that every time. You have a terrible job. A very hard job. I don't know how you handle that. But what a day, what happened? Then he told the whole story. And that Thakur became upset. I said, why are you upset? I did something good. I said, I told you not to interfere with my work. You, your job was just to stand there and smile with the people. Why you interfere? I said, but it was unjust. What was happening? I could not uh, resist giving my comment. Uh, I was not resist to, 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 because I saw what is happening. And Bhagavan said, how do you know it is, uh, I say, it is unjust what was happening. And he got confused. Then Bhagavan explained to him, said, look, Whatever happened, it is right. What it is, uh, whatever happened, happened for my will. It may appear as not being the way you wanted, but it is how it have to be. He said, the rich man came to me. Inside of his mind, he wanted more money. And this money that he forgot is dirty money. He stole it from poor people. That's why he forgot it there in the temple. Then he said, that poor man who came and gave his last cents that he had in his pocket, forgetting about his family and everybody, he gave me the last one. And he prayed, but Lord, let me eternally be in your service. Because I see his sincerity, but he needed that money and he would truly uh, say, use it in the right way, in service to me. I gave him that. And the sailor who came, he prayed for my protection. And my duty when somebody asks me for protection, my duty is to protect them. So that sailor, if he was not put in prison, he will have drowned in the sea. So I protect him by putting him in prison. He was delayed to go to to the boat, the boat left. So he was protected. Realizing his mistake, he asked God, forgive me. Then Bhagavan said, look, it may not appear the way you want it. But behind everything, if you are centered in God, He takes care of everything. It may not be in your term, it's not, it may not be the way you want it, but you must have that faith that He is doing everything. And this is how it is. You have that choice whether to listen.
that mine or not. Not afterwards, but 